G'day. In today's video, I'm opening up a HP EliteBook 850G8. This one, I do want to fix the keyboard while I've got it open. But initially, I do want to just see what can be upgraded and repaired on this exact model. So to begin with, take out the four screws I can see. Maybe some screws hidden under here as well. I suspect there will be. It seems very odd to have screws right along, or six screws along here, nothing else holding it in. So I'll lift this up with a pair of tweezers and see what I see. No, it's not looking promising. Just see the line and just see if it's clipped. There we go. No, we are just using clips along the front here. Six screws and clips along the front. Now, what I'm wanting to do is just disconnect the battery here. I'll zoom you guys in. I should be able to pull this back. That's it, disconnected there. And then have a few screws. One screw that's already loose, so this machine suffered a drop. And it's bent a bit at the front. I'm assuming that bit there should be attached on that bottom cover that's now broken. This battery removal you guys won't need to do, but that's what I'm up to at the moment. Some of them are definitely not going right with this keyboard now, or trackpad. But let's have a look around. Looks like we've got a 256 gig NVMe drive here. It looks like we can install a smaller, what is it 2230 NVMe, I think it is. So you can have two in here. This is a 2280, if memory served me right. One single screw, wiggle it loose, comes out. So installation is pretty straightforward. Slide it in, push down slightly. Slide it in, push down. Also, we do have a CMOS battery here, or UFEI battery. That can be replaced if need be. Granted, that's used to hold the various BIOS settings or the UFEI settings. The screw goes in back like so. And that's that one. Let's see what else can be upgraded. I like here. We have a replaceable power port or DC jack. If that gets damaged, you'd be able to undo this screw, push that out, and be able to replace this in case it does get damaged. What else do we have? We have a Wi Fi card here or an Intel AX201 NGW. Perfectly fine. If we have a look under here, I'm going to assume we're going to have potentially some RAM slots or SODIMM slots or whatever you would like to call them. Your upgradable RAM slots is what I'm going to go with. Pretty sure I can see two. There we go. You all want to take note of these all dotted around with the shield. If we pull these tabs out, it should flick up. We had to pull it out like that. If you have a look here, we have 8 gig of DDR4, 3200 megahertz. Do take note of the notch here and here. If you go put it back in. Should be able to push it diagonally into it and then pull down. So it should be able to go in like that. And then pull down. That's installed. Put another one in there, we'll get dual channel memory going on. If you have two sticks of the same capacity, now I'm going to line it up with these little metal teeth. Not sure what the technical term for those ones would be. If I line them all up, we should be able to push down. And that should hold back into position once more. So it covers battery removal, M uh, SD, oh, sorry, not SD, NVMe drives here, one here, RAM here and the replaceable power adapter over here. That's about all I really need to cover right now. And the Wi-Fi card, if you do choose to upgrade it. Now I'll put the battery back in. And it should slot under here, fold down. OK, 
connect here, push in or pull in, and we'll put in the four screws for it. Uh, one, two, three, and four. Lastly, before I seal it up, I just do want to go over the hinges, just to tighten them up a little bit. They do wiggle loose over time. Definitely see that on nearly all laptops these days. They're getting a bit more turns than I would actually want from them. There we go. Then from there, should be able to hopefully, uh, how are we going to attach? So looks like these go in the grooves along the front here. I'm assuming I could help put it nearby, fold it forward, push it forward, and push down. And from there, should be able to do those extra screws up. That should lock it into place. Go. There we go. I hope that helps with the ins oh, upgrading your HP EliteBook 850 GA. Bye.